So yes, it is true. I am officially at my heaviest weight ever. Hey guys, it's Justin, welcome back. Okay, so for today's video, things are getting real. This is probably the most dreaded video that I'm going to post. I'm not looking forward to it but I'm gonna do it anyway. In today's video, we are talking all about weight, where I started from, where I'm currently at, and just like an overall physique check-in. If you haven't yet had a chance to watch my very last video, I do strongly encourage you to do so. In there, I pretty much discuss what all I am doing now and kind of how all of this relates to it. So before we get into today's video, I do wanna thank our sponsor Green Chef for partnering with me. For those of y'all who have been following me for a minute, you know that I've been using Green Chef's kits for a good while now. If you haven't heard of them, they are a meal kit delivery service that offers dishes for a variety of different lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Each recipe comes with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to help guide you along. And it makes it really easy to follow and prepare considering that most of the ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. And one little extra tip for you guys is that you can actually use the paper bags that the food comes in as a waste container. That way you're not constantly running back and forth to the trash can and then at the end of your meal, you can just roll it up and chunk the entire thing. So if you are interested in trying out Green Chef, you can head over to their website at greenchef.us slash 90 Justin's Journey. And you can also use the code 90 Justin's Journey at checkout to receive $90 off, including free shipping on your first box. So first things first, I wanna go ahead and talk about how I came to this decision to make all of this information public. So whenever I first started therapy, the intention was never to do this. I was not ever planning on taking you guys along with me and publicly documenting this new journey. I was in therapy solely and selfishly for me and for me only. And it wasn't really until around like the fourth month mark where my feelings did start to change. Around month four, that's kind of where I had like a flip of the switch moment and I could start to feel myself becoming more and more interested in this topic. I felt like although yes I did go in with an open mind I kind of almost felt like a sponge where I was just like absorbing and soaking in all of this information but I still didn't quite know what to do with it and honestly speaking I was still erring on the side of skepticism. Even though literally everything I was being told made complete sense because I had just been so immersed in diet culture before for literally almost a decade it was still very hard for me to to look at nutrition, my body, and just like overall health in general in any other way. So around four months in, that's kind of where I felt the switch from me just more so being like a listener to me like actively wanting to participate and wanting to do more with the information I was being told. This also correlated to around the time where I feel like I was starting to notice some changes within myself. They were small changes, but they were positive changes with my relationship with food and my whole overall mindset thinking. Just from me taking her tangibly advice starting to implement that and then look at foods differently because I started to see a change I think for me that's really what like sparked my curiosity and made me think that okay Justin if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna give my all into it and I just decided that I wanted to give myself my absolute best shot at possibly healing my relationship with food and to be frank stop half-assing it YouTube is what I do and it's not just a job for me it is genuinely something that I'm passionate passionate about. And I think for me, once I was finally on board with intuitive eating and like, okay, I'm really doing this. It was really a no brainer that I also wanted to document it at the same time. Also, not only that, after I looked and saw such a lack of diversity on this topic in this space, kind of going back to what I said in my last video, not only as me as somebody in a larger body, but also me as a person of color. Once I saw that there was just a major gap that really only made me want to do this even more. Okay now, so quite the contrast of what all I've been saying so far. I just wanna let you guys know that what I'm about to do is probably the least intuitive eating friendly thing that I could possibly do. And that is to share my weight. Now, I don't think that there's any rule that says you're not allowed to share your weight with thousands of strangers online, but one of the core principles of intuitive eating is rejecting the diet mentality. And going along with that is also getting rid of dieters tools, one of which the scale being a huge one. So I've actually been advised from my therapist to go ahead, toss the scale and stop weighing myself. But this is a journey and me just being real with y'all, I'm not quite there yet. 
I don't really feel per se that I have a problem with the scale, especially given like where I once was with it. There was a point of time where I was weighing myself daily, even sometimes multiple times a day. And yes, back then I could definitely acknowledge that I had an issue. But now I'm weighing myself weekly and honestly, this is gonna sound kind of silly, but I think part of the reason I'm having an issue with parting with the scale is because I have like such a long streak of weighing myself every single Saturday morning for like the last two and a half, three years. So I do find it a little challenging not doing that anymore and kind of being in the dark of what my status is. I do think and I do hope that one day I can part ways with a scale and not even care like what it has to say. But also another reason why I feel like this probably isn't the most intuitive eating friendly thing to do is because I already know that me sharing my weight online is gonna bring judgment, criticism, and hate. All of which I don't think are very beneficial to me, especially given that I'm still pretty new to this. And I'm pretty sure it's not recommended for me to put myself in a position to possibly have external factors like mean comments and people giving their opinion on me and my weight to possibly sway myself in what I'm doing and what I'm thinking and all of that. This wasn't an easy decision to make and I have been debating over it for a very long time. But ultimately, I am deciding to share that piece of information because I want to be open and transparent with you guys. I mean, that's how I roll here on this channel. That's how I've been doing things and I kind of felt like it would be awkward if I felt like I had to keep it such a big secret and I would tell you guys about everything else but I would leave out that piece. Also because I already know what I'm getting myself into, fortunately I'm not like walking into this blindly. I have already kind of mentally prepared myself for the possible reactions. So to sum it all up, I am sharing this information for documentation purposes only and without further ado, I know y'all are probably like let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna give you guys a timeline of my weight covering the last two and a half years so y'all can better understand how I got here. Starting with my most previous heaviest recorded weight, which was in October of 2018, I weighed 292 pounds. This was also once I started WW, which was my last attempted diet. Then 10 months later, as of August 2019, I had lost 73 pounds following that diet and was at my lowest ever recorded adult weight, which was 219 pounds then I really don't think I even need to talk about what happened. I've explained it so many times in multiple videos, but basically I started going back in the opposite direction on the scale. And by January of 2020, I weighed in at around 259 pounds, meaning that I had gained 40 pounds in four months. And then for the remainder of the year in December of 2020, I was averaging about 285 pounds, which was an additional 25 pounds added one. And the reason I'm bringing up December is because that is actually the month that I officially started therapy. So I guess you could technically consider that my starting weight and my starting time, but I kind of feel like the lines are a little bit blurred for me because yes, although I did start in December, like I told y'all earlier, it wasn't until like month four where I was really getting into it and actually wanting to for real do it. So I'm not really sure how to take that, but just for today's purposes, we're gonna call that my starting time. And now for my current to wait anxiety <sighs> i currently weigh as of may 2021 302 pounds cue the mob so 17 pounds up from december when i started altogether 83 pounds since my lowest weight and about 10 pounds up from my previous heaviest weight. So you know how whenever people like go on a diet and they lose a bunch of weight and then they end up gaining it back but they usually gain it back and then some? Those 10 extra pounds are my and then some. So yes you guys I am officially at my heaviest recorded weight ever. I do have mixed feelings about it just me being candid obviously I am not thrilled to be here. I never really thought that I would actually cross that 300 pound barrier and when I finally did that that was challenging for me. All right guys, it's future Justin here. I wanted to interrupt this video because I looked back at it and I felt like I just told you guys my weight and just kind of left it at that with like no further explanation. And I just kind of wanted to, I guess for one, go ahead and answer the question as to if I think that intuitive eating is making me fatter. And I mean, technically yes, but also at the same time, 
not really if you look at it from a graph standpoint just from like the dates and the weights that i already gave you guys prior to december i was already on the weight gain train anyway and i'm just pretty positive that regardless if i started intuitive eating or not i was just going to continue to gain weight anyway and more than likely just end up either at or around the same place that i am now i mean it's clear when you look at it that i haven't been in any sort of weight maintenance at all i've always either been gaining or losing and I haven't like sustained the same amount of weight for probably any longer than a month at a time. So I know that the only way I would have started maintaining my weight or even possibly losing weight is if I started restricting myself again, AKA starting another diet, which I'm just not about to do that. So with all of that being said, I don't really feel like I can necessarily place the blame on intuitively eating when I was already going down this path to begin with. Secondly though, to repeat myself from my last last video. It is a big part of like my hope for this journey that I will get to a point where that weight kind of caps off and once my body is at a place where it trusts me, like me myself again, to not deprive it, to not put it through another diet again, it will eventually, I guess, kind of let some of that weight go. However, this whole thing is a huge leap of faith for me. Like I've said, there's literally no guarantee and I truly, I don't know if it's gonna work. But all I do know is that everything else that I've tried and failed, it has all led me to where I am today. So the way I look at it, why not give it a shot? I did want to say though that I've actually, I've found it quite interesting that for the last several months, I've actually gotten a pretty good amount of compliments and just people inquiring, actually asking me how much weight I've lost, which up until this point, nobody knows my current weight. Like nobody even knows that I've gained weight but myself. So the fact that so many people have assumed the complete opposite, that's just very interesting. And I'm not sure if I should take it as people just being nice, you know, trying to hype your girl up or if people can genuinely tell a difference. I will say though that even yes, at my current weight, I am the most active I've been in a very, very long time. I'm currently strength training three times a week with my trainer and then I will go off and do like some other forms of cardio on my own. So I don't know if possibly like maybe the strength training is kind of canceling out with the weight I've gained. Like, I don't know, maybe some of the weight is like muscle mass. I don't know how that works, but I do want the takeaway of this to be that that even though yes this video was about weight at the same time my journey is not I honestly don't think I'll be posting many other videos like this just because I'm more so focusing on my mentality and behavioral changes and as far as my results I'm really not measuring my results in pounds honestly speaking I am hopeful for unintentional weight loss as being a side effect of me healing my relationship with food but I am aware that in order for that to happen, I can't put my primary focus on what the scale says. So just know that if you ever hear me talking about weight again, it is primarily for documentation purposes only. And honestly, if I wasn't doing YouTube, then I would just be keeping that information to myself. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We are gonna start resuming these super special secret emoji shout outs. So very special shout out to Chloe George Vlogs, shout out to Ms. Brenda Bunch, and shout out to Amanda and a mole master. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting. I really do appreciate it. And for today's super special secret emoji, random, we're gonna go with the mushroom emoji. So comment that down below and you will possibly be shout out in my very next video. And as always guys, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join me on this journey and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.